All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to connect your Pro Controller to your Windows PC using Rewazd as the driver so that it can play all your favorite PC games, no matter if they've got compatibility for the Pro Controller or not. If you're unfamiliar with Rewazd, it's a paid driver for controllers that lets you connect everything from an Xbox controller to an Nvidia Shield controller to your PC and use it for basically everything and also allow you to rebind the controls on it to also basically anything. So you could have a keyboard pretend to be a controller or a controller pretending to be a keyboard. Uh, if you want it, it also is kind of expensive for like a three month subscription it's like $15 or for a lifetime, it's like $70, which can be kind of steep for something that a lot of other companies offer for free. So if you want to try it out, try the seven day free trial and we can get it hooked up. And uh, the first step is to download it and install it and then restart your computer. So go ahead and do that and I'll meet you on the other side. So once you've got it downloaded and installed, you should be greeted by a screen that looks a lot like this. From here, we just got to connect our Pro Controller to our PC, and for the most part, that means pairing it with Bluetooth. So to do that, you'll have to open up your Bluetooth and other devices settings inside of your Windows settings, and then we're going to go ahead and click on the round button on the back of the controller where you plug it in to charge it, and then just press and hold on that until either the light across from it flashes, which... I updated mine and it doesn't do that anymore. So like to a count of say like 12 or 14. And then once you do so, you can click on the add Bluetooth or other devices button at the top of the screen, click on Bluetooth in the black pop-up window and pro controller should be right here waiting for you. Just go ahead and click on that to pair it with your PC. And now they should be talking together and you should be getting a bunch of pop-ups and noises as it connects and starts to chitter chatter with your computer. Once it's ready, you'll see it here pop up on your Bluetooth devices list. When it's all done setting up, you can minimize that. And then you can see it plugged in here to your Rewazd. It's got a little icon of the controller itself with a little Bluetooth icon. And if you hover over it, it'll tell you it's a Nintendo Switch Pro controller. It'll give you the ID and some other ID number information. And really, once you do that, you should be good to go. You can now play games using your Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. This will do things now like tell you the battery level, which I need to charge mine. It'll also let you rebind a bunch of stuff or create custom profiles. And a lot of the power of this program is the ability to make custom profiles that are triggered when you boot up a certain game. So for the sake of argument, I've got open abiotic factor in the background as an example game. And I'm going to add a game profile. I'm going to call this abiotic pro controller. And then if I wanted to, I could add like a custom artwork to it. So it's clickable or whatever, but I don't really bother to do that. And then I can add an active process to this that launches it when it detects it. So I'm looking for abiotic factor. I'm actually not even sure if abiotic factor has, here it is, it's up here at the top, abiotic factor. So I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. I'm also gonna plug in my controller because it's now flashing that it's running out of battery life rapidly so it can charge while we do this. And I'm gonna click on add abiotic factor. So once you've got that added, you'll see a little map of the Pro Controller here, and you can click on or toggle by just clicking the button yourself on the controller, whatever button you want in order to remap it to something else. In this case, I'm really only interested in remapping the minus button and the plus button to be your inventory button. So we're gonna remap this one to E, and we're going to say that that's good and then the other one i'm going to remap to my x button because that's what allows me to check my stats for my health inside of abiotic factor so we can open up my inventory or we can open up my health and you know what just for the heck of it i can also make it so that i can uh, activate my crafting menu with this other button 
and they were good. Now that's my what I want, and I can click save here at the top. There's a little save icon, and then boom, I'm good to go. And to give you an idea of what this lets you rebind, you can rebind all of the toggles. You can even rebind the motion controls so that when you like swizzle to the side, it'll open up a certain menu or do a certain action. You can rebind the back buttons. You can re-tweak the keyboard and mouse sensitivity or other sensitivities for the virtual mice when you're controlling a mouse using this controller. And you can even tweak the vibrations. So you have the ability to adjust pretty much anything and then you can make it connect to buttons from a keyboard, from a virtual controller, from your mouse, or vice versa. You can even bring up crosshairs with this program. So if you're in a shooter game that doesn't have a crosshair, you can kind of cheat a little bit if you wanted to. Uh, you have all of these options built in, but the, that's basically the gist of it. And then when you're done, you know, you hit save and you can go back to the main screen here and see all of your other profiles and all of the other devices that are currently connected to your computer. Like it detects my keyboard, my Steel Series Apex 5, my Logitech mouse, my Wacom tablet's wireless receiver, and also the actual Wacom tablet that's plugged in behind me. So it detects basically everything. And it can even connect to your phone. So that'd be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. That's been a brief look at how to connect your Pro Controller to Rewazd and get it all working nice and fancy. I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.